Evolution of Chernabog. Fantasia, 1940. Chernabog is first seen disguised as the spire on top of Bald Mountain until he spreads his draconic wings, revealing himself. It is Walpurgis Night, and using the powers of darkness, he raises ghosts, monsters, firewomen, a fleet of monstrous imps, blue satyrs, witches, and demons from a nearby town with a cemetery. Ghosts of criminals pass through the noose a second time, while others rise from the moat surrounding the ruins of an abandoned ancient castle. He then also summons fire and makes the ghosts and the other creatures in his control dance and fly around before he throws them into a volcanic pit and resurrects them as demons. Harpies fly around as the cavorting gets more chaotic, throwing unfortunate, deformed creatures into the multi-hued flames. Chernabog is at the height of his power, showing off in a display that sends a column of fire into the air, which returns to the chasm in a sheet of flame. An instant before continuing the demonic celebration, with the coming of the dawn Chernabog hears the tolling of the Angelus bell. He is then forced to cover himself with his wings as the demons leap back down the pit, the ghosts return to their graves, and the dark ceremony ceases as morning arrives. The Reluctant Dragon, 1941. Chernabog appears as the cameo character in this movie. Michael and Mickey, 1989. Chernabog appears when he scares Mickey Mouse from the front, and Michael Eisner asks him to sit down because he's blocking their view, so he obeys while closing his wings. Bonkers, 1993. In the episode of Mice and Menace, Chernabog appears in a couple of mugshots on a computer, implying that he is a criminal in the series. Fantasia 2000, 2000. Chernabog makes a cameo during the visual references to the original movie. Mickey's House of Villains, 2002. Chernabog appears as one of the many villains. He is seen sitting with the big bad wolf during the takeover of the club. During It's Our House Now, Maleficent transformed into a dragon and sat with Chernabog, which complemented her work. Under Jafar's command, Chernabog took the role as a bouncer, throwing Mickey, Donald, and Goofy out when they attempted to dethrone Jafar. House of Mouse, 2002. In the series, Chernabog's role is largely for comical purposes. In the majority of his appearances, the jokes are about his giant size. At one point, he admits to gossip columnist Clarable Cow that he is afraid of the dark. In the later episode, Where's Minnie, however, when the lights go out, he comments, I kinda like the dark. The Sorcerer's Apprentice, 2010 there is a gargoyle that appears several times in the movie resembling Chernabog, often in shots with Horvath, the movie's villain. Phantasmic, 2011. Chernabog appears as one of the Disney villains at Disneyland. Here he is summoned by the evil queen from Snow White while the seven dwarfs fight Mickey Mouse. Once Upon a Time, 2015. Chernabog appears in the second half of the fourth season after being released from the sorcerer hat. Here Chernabog is still a demon, but is always referred to as the Chernabog, and has a satyr-like appearance with its dark aura. It seeks the person with the heart that has the darkest potential, and it is not necessarily a person who had done bad things, but simply a person who had the potential to be evil. In Storybrooke, the beast was defeated by tricking it over the town line, and since the creature was made of pure dark magic, it was completely destroyed after crossing over. Mickey Mouse, 2017 Chernabog makes two appearances in the series, in the episode The Scariest Story Ever, and in the Touchdown and Out, where he is called upon to serve as a member of Pete's football team against Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. Chernabog creates the field and stadium, and his dark powers allow Pete's team to take the lead fairly quickly. Toward the end of the game, Donald throws the ball through Chernabog's chest, causing the demon to fall on the ground unconscious, unknowingly dragging Pete and the Beagle Boys down with him.